everybody. Hi. <laughs> God dang it. Like it's... All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Staple Together Podcast for the final segment of our comic book week of November 14th, 2018. We've come back from the past. Everybody's at the proper age. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm 22 uh, years old. I am Sudan. I'm Peachy. I'm 22 years old. <laughs> Oose. <laughs> I'm Oose. Uh, and today we have in our final segment of our comic book review, a fifth segment. At least. We have Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider Man. Yeah, number 312. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, the, story, the stories uh, by Sean Ryan and inside art by uh, Frigeri. I, I I did not catch the uh, first name. Juan Juan Frigeri. Um, the cover, which I I dug another. Uh, uh, Book uh, Tan. Book Tan. G- yeah, Jim Lee looking type ah. art um, by Philip Tan. Um, great art or great cover. I dig it. Um, it's got J. Jonah Jameson. Embracing a very beat up Spider Man, yeah, which is up. odd, still to me. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so foreign to people that uh, J. J. Jonah Jameson was Peter Parker's stepbrother, and he knows of his identity. Yeah, he's yeah. not very good at keeping it a secret, though. Not at all. Mm. Um, so we are continuing the Spider Geddon storyline. Yep. Mm-hmm. Last time, um, you know, the the inheritors have returned, um, thanks to Superior Octopus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all his fault, and also them sending drones and into the yeah, it's everyone's fault. And the spiders yeah. did a bad thing. Yeah, the spiders did a bad bad thing. Um, and Morlin has continued his. Um, Vendetta, yeah. his his quest to kill and eat Peter Parker. Yeah, because he's uh, from Earth six one six. He's evaded him or, or beat him in one way or another twice and twice or, or three three times. One of those times it did end up. I don't remember exactly, but didn't it end up with uh, mm. Peter Parker dying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they still beat him. Um, and he basically he he says that actually I'm I'm only I'm only alive because of a miracle. Which yeah, that was when he died. He died. He died? During the Spider Verse storyline. Yeah. And I don't exactly remember all the all of those details. But great great storyline. Again, uh credit to Dan Slot for his the Spider Verse uh Oh no. Sorry. That sucks. Um, So Peter Parker's in bad shape. He's been going a long time. He's tired. And on top of this, Moreland is kicking his ass. A lot. He says he could use another miracle right now. And this is him running off of no sleep. Yeah. After saving the day, and he thought that he would get some sleep and, and go to work, and that's just not happening. He's <laughs> beaten, broken, exhausted, and just like on his last leg, yeah. for lack of a better term. Mm-hmm. And you know, I think that's crazy. He's just having his life force sucked out, and he's about to die. And who comes to save his ass? Miles Morales. Spider-Man. The other spider. The lesser spider. Lesser spider. Mm-hmm. That's more what it calls him. Yes. Man. I like that one. Uh, it, it, what's it, what is it? What's the joke? He says, come on, um, man. He says, you've I never don't, seen this at karaoke the, uh, the first time. But then, right. and, and then after that, he says, I don't go around calling you lesser Chris Angel. Nice. <laughs> yeah. There's lots of... Yeah, uh, he also hits him with this venom strike. It's ineffective. Yes. And he's like, "What's that?" He's like, "It's usually pretty effective." But uh, 
he's you know he engages him in combat uh, long enough to distract him. Yeah, um, and to get have Jay take Peter away, right? Drag him away. Very much, because um, luckily Jay was there. Yes, this would have been bad. Yes. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. And then Marlin punches, um, or well, uh, Miles tries to take on Marlin and um, whips him. Yeah. Um, but Marlin throws him. Yeah. Uh, I like how Marlin's kind of. It's not like he feels like. It's kind of weird seeing the different side on this. Is you know, to them, this is their. Their their that's their food. Yeah. You know, so I, I can see the high and mighty, but then these are living people, beings. Right. I thought Deadpool over there moved. Huh. He did. He may have, yeah. Oh, God. Toy Story. <coughs> All right. My kitten is having a... Let's pause over here. Huh. Anywho. Uh, Oh, and then we see off to the side. We see where J. Jonah has dragged uh, Spider Man off, and Spider Man saying he needs to go back and help Miles because he can't handle Morlin. Uh, J. Jonah is like he makes himself um, a sling. arm sling out yes. of web yes. because his arm's very broken. Yes, <laughs> he's yeah. messed up. Yeah, he's just a little bit. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is before the or. He's like webs up his arm and wrist, and then just before Moreland jumps on him to attack him again, and he pushes J. Jonah out of the way. Cause well, Jay was like, "I need to make sure that I can help you and do whatever I can to help you." And Peter's like, "Go away! Yeah, like I can't help me by going away." Yeah, like I can't be stressed about you and also take care of this guy at the same time. Joan Jameson sounds like he could ju use a, a, a visit to some sort of social and support group. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hey. We should hey, look up that. that. Yeah. We, should, yeah. we should look it up. Look up. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely look it up. But yeah, I, I, but I, I like that it interchanges Peter's kind of showing his responsibility. Like, look, I, I need you to go. I need to help him. He's not ready for this. But neither is Peter. Yeah. yeah. Obviously. Um, Moreland just gets him. Grabs him. He's determined to get them, you know, to, to a place where they could be alone. Very much so. I like his creative use of the webbing in this, you know, kind of yeah. the sling, the thwip to the ground to kind of give him an extra anchor to kind of hold him back. The, you know, Miles did that, and then Spider-Man, of course, used him to kind of slingshot himself away from Moreland. Right. Um, I'm like, that's creative use. It is. And unfortunately, when he does slingshot himself away from Moreland, it's inevitably towards the ground. Yeah, into yeah. concrete instead of, you know, like soft, grassy ground. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love the, the look of determination on his face there. Great art. And yeah. they keep getting closer and closer um, in those panels. Because when he's gritting his teeth, you know, he's like, you know, he's fighting through it. He knows it's going to hurt before he makes contact. Yeah. I like, I like the... The grass was a little harder than I was expecting. And flat. And made of stone. <laughs> and made of concrete, yeah. <laughs> um, he winds up, winds up landing in the, in the zoo. In the Brooklyn yes. Zoo. Which he thought was Concussion Plaza. <laughs> yes. I like he's like, I haven't been to the zoo in forever. <laughs> I'm like me neither. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, back, yeah, sorry. <laughs> last time I was there was last year for Halloween. Right before Halloween, they did the dinosaurs at the zoo. It oh. was I got spit on by a Dilophosaur. I, I don't even know when the last time I was at the zoo. <laughs> Anywho, yeah. <laughs> did you hear that? Yes. Um, but then we cut back to J. Jonah and Miles is coming up to check on him. Um, and he says he's fine. He just needs to make, he wants to make sure that, uh, 
that Pete's okay, or like Pete, just like that, pretty much. Yeah, Spider Man's okay. He's like Pete. I mean, Spider Man. <laughs> and he asked him what happened to the transdimensional bracelet. He says that oh, he smashed it while it was on Pete. I mean, Spider Man's wrist. Right. Kind of thing. Um, he told him which way he went. Uh, it's kind of cool to see that you know. Miles is still the young Spider-Man, still the newer Spider-Man, but he's kind of got a sense of responsibility and because you know, with great power and such. And he's, I think he's kind of like proven. I like this interaction, like when Peter's talking to Jonah and when J- Miles is, you know, Jonah's always been quite outspoken. You know, the immature level of Peter Parker or the Spider-Man, you know, yeah. and then to actually see like he actually has this, you know. They're, they're, he does it. He does think of it in a, by a leader's point of view, and he's been experienced long enough that he has this information to give. And Jonah kind of has that respect for him. And I kind of like that's cool. I kind of like to see that whole like they've been so long adversaries, but freaking their whole lives, the whole time. Spider Man's around. This is just new, so it's kind of a cool twist on the character and seeing what's the difference and seeing him kind of going like, "Damn, I was wrong." And, and, and seeing him want to pull his weight and do the right thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, more than anything, he's got a stubborn determination to help. Yeah. Which is super cool, but, you know, he is, which Miles kind of points out at this point, he's, he is kind of in the way, and it tells him, again, the best way you can help is to get out of the way and not have us be worried about you and and that sort of thing. Yeah. Which is which is cool for, like like you're saying, for Miles to be able to have, to have the... Uh, sense of responsibility enough and the maturity to know, to know that this is what needs to happen. Mm. It's a good development of the character. Yeah. But uh, from there, we go back to Pete um, trying to, you know, figure out a plan, a strategy, walking through the zoo, kind of, you know, put, trying to put things together. He talks about his, his head's killing him. Um, he's having a hard time concentrating. Kind of us flashes back to all the times that he's like almost died yeah which was fun that's yeah. that's why i went huh earlier when i when i asked you if you had gotten to this yet but i'm like oh i was a diving cast yeah <laughs> and i was like no <laughs> <laughs> wrong book <laughs> right. but yeah it shows him uh, almost perishing at the hands of the likes of the green goblin venom uh Merlin. Some some references to iconic scenes like the scene from the Craven's the cover time. that's over here behind me somewhere. Yeah, and then I hear lies Spider Man. The heavy that... machinery that almost killed him. Right, right. Craven, yeah, Craven's last hunt through lies Spider Man where he was drugged and dug himself out of his the grave. Dub- Craven did the drugs to him. Did did he do the drugs to me? Yes. <laughs> It's a lot of crazy stuff, and I, I think that's he was kind of like reminiscent of how like when he was a nerd back in the day. Did he would he have ever thought or whatever kind of attitude? Like man, if he only knew. Yeah. <laughs> sure. And sure. then um, he is contemplating whether this is actually going to be the end at the hands of some guy play or cosplaying um, Brad Pitt in Interview with the Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like his still keeping his sense of humor even when he's in dire but still also keeping a cool head that comes with responsibility Ooh-hoo. which is a great power what? <laughs> uh, time for sleep yep <laughs> uh, he uh, while he's trying to figure out a plan he, figure, he does actually come to the conclusion that time for sleep <laughs> yes. yeah he he's very tired and notices animals are sleeping in the zoo and he comes to an idea he realizes that it is time for sleep <laughs> but not for him right just then Miles shows up and he's like oh my god get out of here get out you know the whole thing I can take care of this you need to uh, another uh, kind of a passing of the torch and it looks pretty grim for Spider-Man too he's yeah. kind of a uh, saying he's not in shape to lead someone has to lead and it should be miles yeah it should be him and you kind of get hinting to the possibility that he may not come back from from uh this fight 